So what I want to cover in this video is I'm going to look at what's known as a site mailbox in a SharePoint Online team site. So basically this is an email box which is attached to a team site. It can be added to each individual team site that you create. Now when you start with your team site you'll see this getting started uh, button bar across the top here and you'll notice that this one here keeping email in context we can use to create that inbox. Now if you don't have that we can do that simply by going to site contents and then what we'll find is is that the site mailbox basically is an additional app so we need to just go in again and select the option to add an app and what you'll see up the top here is we have our site mailbox so again to add that we simply select that and that, that will then configure the site mailbox for us so what's happening in the background here is that that site mailbox is being configured is being set up for us so that'll take you know a couple of minutes to uh, spin up and configure um, we can then come back click on it and see what's going on So we'll see that our site mailbox has been created. You'll notice here that we get the message that it may take up to 30 minutes for access to be provided. So again, just keep that in mind. Generally, it doesn't take that long, but you may need to wait um, up to 30 minutes for that to be fully provisioned. So what I'm going to do is just click and go back to my demo site, and then we'll give that a few minutes while that's then completed. Okay, so we've made it a few minutes here, and basically what we'll do is we'll now go into our option for the mailbox. First time that we go into the mailbox, we need to set it up for a location and a time zone. So we'll just configure that to make sure that is correct. Once we've done that, that will be saved, and we won't need to see this screen again. Now, when this is complete, this should take us directly to a familiar Outlook web app style mailbox so again nice and easy and as you can see here's the mailbox you'll notice that we have received an email here uh, automatically that lets us know what the email address of this shared mailbox is so this means that people can send emails to this and it will appear in this inbox so again the, you'll find up the top here um, the site mailbox app if we click on the option here for demo this will take us back to our demo site and then again we can simply access that by clicking on um, the mailbox option from our site and we'll end up directly in the mailbox and we can now start working on it so really simple and easy to get up and running now once we're here on the mailbox what we can do is actually do some configuration and get this mailbox to appear in Outlook on our desktop so what I'm going to do is go to the cog in the top right here so I'm logged in as the user into the site mailbox and I'm going to select the option here called options now this will give me the options for this um, current site mailbox so you can see that's very much like a normal email account I've got inbox rules replies delivery reports settings um, phone but if we go back to account you'll notice that I have the option here to connect Outlook to this account so what I'm going to do is select that and then that will bring me into the option where I can start configuring um, that access. So that brings us to this help screen um, that shows us how to connect it up to our Outlook different versions. But what I'm going to do is I'll show you how to do that. So basically what I need to do is I need to log, um, log in as the user um, who is currently accessing the team site. So at the moment uh, Lewis Collins is that. I've now logged in as him in the portal and I've gone to his Outlook web app. Now again go to the cog in the top right corner and select the option here um, for uh, setting for options okay so what you'll see here these are the options for Lewis's individual mailbox but if we select the option here on the left for a site mailbox you'll notice that I have a number of site mailboxes so these have already been configured the one that I've just configured here is this one down here which is checked as demo you'll see that this is going to the same address that we had before so smo-demo1 so if I go back to my Outlook web access and have a look at this so this is the team site I just set up with the site mailbox so smo-demo1 so you'll see what I've got here is that this is already checked 
meaning this will now show in my Outlook. These other two that I have configured have been deselected. So by default, when you create a site mailbox um, for the users, if the user has um, access to that site, they will then automatically have that site mailbox appear in their Outlook. They can go into their own Outlook web access, go into their options and their site mailboxes and deselect that if they want. Now with that mailbox selected, if I go into the edit button here, you'll see that I have a number of properties, you'll see which users currently have access to it, and you'll also notice that I have a sync status here. Now if I want, I can force that sync status. So what we need to do now is, since everything's configured for this site mailbox to appear in our Outlook, we just need to go into our Outlook, and again, that may take um, 15 to 30 minutes for that site mailbox to appear in our Outlook. So what we'll do at the moment is we'll wait for that to appear. So at the moment, you'll see that um, I currently don't have that. All I have is my inbox, uh, my archive, online archive, and my SharePoint list. So these are lists that are linked from my SharePoint team site at the moment my um, site mailbox doesn't appear so I need to just wait a few minutes for that to appear in my Outlook. Okay so if we now look at our Outlook we see that we have a folder here called demo which matches our demo site. If we now open that you'll see that we have an inbox. If we click on our inbox you'll notice that we have exactly the same email that we have in our site mailbox during our Outlook web app. So again now what we've done is we have linked our site mailbox directly to our Outlook 2013 and again remember this is done by default and you can turn this on and off through your own Outlook web access if you so desire. Now what you'll also notice here is that if we have a option here for documents you'll see that this actually is our document library so what we've done is by linking the site mailbox we've also created a direct link to our site mailbox here in um, the team site. So really nice and easy, really handy way to get access to um, that information quickly and easily. So again if we go into our document library in our demo site you'll notice that we have these documents. Again if we look in our Outlook now with our uh, link mailbox you see that we do have exactly the same document. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send an email from outside Office 365 to this site mailbox and I'll show you a few other bits and pieces that the site mailbox does provide. Okay so now you see that I have received an email from outside so I sent this from my normal uh, email and you'll see it has been received into the site mailbox in Outlook. If I now go back and have a look in my site mailbox on my team site you'll notice that it also appears in there so again makes it nice and easy to work with email so there's that same email. Now what I can also do is you'll notice that this um, email has an attachment so what I'm going to do is to save that email attachment in somewhere where I can start working on it and access it. So at the moment, remember, it's in a basically an inbox. Now, if I drag and drop this into Documents, I'm going to drag this into um, the Documents area um, in my inbox here. Okay, so that allows it basically to uh, appear here. So you'll see it. Um, at the moment synchronizing so what it will then do is um, copy it into this but then also push it up into my documents library in the SharePoint team site. Okay so now you'll see that it has fully synchronized so again we've now got eight documents so again if we go back to our uh, team site and we click on the document library what you'll notice here is that that document that I've just dragged and dropped in my Outlook has ended up in the document library here within my team site. So what I've basically done is being able to send myself, uh, send the site mailbox an email with an attachment. I can then drag and drop that attachment directly in Outlook into the document library and then obviously I can then access that document and work with it in my document library directly with my team site. So the important thing to remember in summary here is that you can add a site mailbox to every team site that you have um, access to. Now when you do that everybody who's a member of that site will get access to that mailbox. They can then send and receive 
emails and that mailbox does have its own unique uh, email address. Now by default that site mailbox will then synchronize with the Outlook 2013 client allowing you to interact with it directly and also it will incorporate a number of additional elements that are already part of your team site. So really a handy way to start getting information directly out of individuals email boxes put it into a shared location into a collaboration space like SharePoint where everybody can work on it. So in summary, that's everything about site mailboxes. Thank you very much for watching.